This is problem 6.13. This is a frame and it's composed by three beams. We have beam A and B that is connected to beam BD by a pin and fixed to the wall by a fixed support. Then we have this beam B to D that is connected at both ends with pins. And then we have here a roller. Remember that a roller only restricts displacement in the vertical direction, so we will have only one reaction. We have a distributed load, and then we have another roller right here at E, and a concentrated load at the end of beam D, F. We could call it F at this point. So we have the beam E, F. So we have here three different elements. So let's do the free body diagram of those three different elements. So if we do the free body diagram of element A, B, E, we have that we have two reactions at B, B, X, and B, Y, and then we have reactions A, X, A, Y, and since this is a fixed support, we also have a moment at A. So as you see, we have here five unknowns. So we cannot start by uh, trying to solve the unknowns in these free body diagrams because we have too many unknowns. So we go to the next free body diagram to see if we have less unknowns, which, are, which is the B, D, beam. So we have our B, beam and at B we have exactly the same forces but in opposite direction right at D we have dy and dx and then at C let me draw it with a different color we have a external force so I'm going to call it CY and then we have the external force, which is a distributed force of magnitude 3 kilonewtons per meter, and we have 6 meters. Therefore, the area under that distributed force is 18, and it will be located at the middle of 6. So it will be located at 3 meters, and it will be 18 k kilonewtons. And then we have the free body diagram. Let me place this name of free body diagram a little bit up so that we don't get confused. And then we have the free body diagram of our last element, which is D, E, F, right? And here we have, this is a little bit longer, for action and reaction, we will have exact the same forces, but in opposite direction. So be careful that we always have to use the third Newton's law to do our free body diagrams, right? And then at E, we have an external reaction because we have a roller over there. So let's put a little bit of our distance. Here is six and here is three. And here we have, this is already at three, but this distance is also known, this is four, and this is two. So as we see, this is the only free body diagram that has only three unknowns. It has these two unknowns and this one over here, because this one is, so we have to start with this free body diagram. So I will say from, to make it clear, from free body diagram D, A, F, which is this beam over here, I will add forces. Well, I add forces in X, and I see that the only force in X is the X. Therefore, the X is equals to zero. So I was able to find my first force. To find dy, and the E, I will take moments respect to point D. 
And if I place myself over here, I, the only unknown that will appear in that equation is E y. So, and that will be a positive moment minus 9 times 12 kilonewtons. That's equals to zero. That lead me to that E y will be equals to 9 times 12 over 6. Therefore, E y is positive 18, right? So I was able to find this one over here. And now I add forces in y, and I get that negative dy plus ey minus 12 is equals to 0. Therefore, right, dy will be equals to 18 minus 12, which is 6 kilonewtons. So I was able to find dy and the ey. Now that I have found those three uh, unknowns, I can move forward to the next free body diagram. So because now I know this one and I know this one, so for this free body diagram, now I have only three unknowns. Before I have five unknowns because I had the two pins and the external reaction, so I had five unknowns. And, and I only have three equations of equilibrium. So I was not able to start with this free body diagram. But now that I already found two, now I'm able to do it. So now I'm going to place, that's my first step. The second step from free body diagram from being PD. So I want you to be very organized in your work because if you have a mistake, it's very easy to find when you follow your work very neatly, clean, right? So from this for, oh, free body diagram, we add forces in X equals to zero, and therefore we have dx minus bx is equals to zero. Therefore, bx is also equals to zero. So let's, even though it's zero, I'm going to put kilonewtons because it's zero kilonewtons. So zero is a value, and it has units. So now, I can choose to take moment respect to either B, and then I cancel those two unknowns, and I take moment respect to C, and I cancel this unknown and find B, Y. Okay, so I am going to take moment respect to C, and I get, when I place myself over here, so then I have this dimension, which is two times D, Y, two times D, Y, and it's a positive, moment, then I have this over here is 1, right? And it's also a positive moment. And then over here I have 4 times by equals 0. And from there I can find that by will be equals to 2 dy's, which is 12, right? So if I put that, it will be a negative 12 minus negative 18 over 4. So by is negative 7.5. I'm just saving a little bit of space. So I was able to find this one, this one, and now I need to find CY, therefore I'm adding forces in Y, and I get that this is negative BY, negative 18, plus CY, plus DY, equals to zero. Therefore, CY is equals to DY, is negative with this negative sign, it becomes positive 7.5. Negative 18, and dy we already found that is 6. So if I plug all the numbers, 
I get that CY is 4.5 kilo newtons. Okay, so finally, that we already found this unknown, this unknown, this unknown, this unknown, this unknown, this unknown I go to the first free body diagram that I draw because here I had too many unknowns, but now I have this one, this one, therefore I get only three unknowns that I can find, and then fr from free body diagram AB, I can say that adding forces in X is equals to zero, I have a AX plus BX is equals to zero, that leads me to that AX is equals to zero. Then I have forces in Y equals to zero, and I get that AY plus BY is equals to zero, and then I get that AY is equals to negative BY. And then I get that AY will be equals to 7.5 kilonewtons. Finally, I add force, I add moments respect to A, for example, that's equals to zero, and that leads me to. I draw my moment in this direction, so I draw it negative, negative moment in A, and this dimension over here is three, therefore three meters, so therefore I have positive three times B Y equals to zero. So my moment, will be equals to 3 times by, which is 7 point, negative 7.5. And then my moment is equals to negative 22.5 kilonewton meters. So what it means that is negative, so I place my moment in this direction, so this value over here, means that my moment that I put it negative is actually positive, right? So, because I have negative moment and negative value of the magnitude, so the, the moment is actually contraclockwise. So it's a contraclockwise moment. And so we were able to find all the reactions of the external supports and the pins between the beams.